gosh almighty, who the heck are they? Hey, flim, flam, bim, bam, old miss. By golly, and welcome to Vaughn Hemingway Stadium where the Rebels are ready to take the field. We believe we've got a great one in store today, and when you've got a team that makes it into the top 25, now when you go on the road, that's when you prove you belong. As we'll see, the number 22 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on a squad hoping to prevent the Rebels will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it out. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. So Oklahoma's offense takes the field. And here he is, one of the best receivers in the game, and he just commands attention, both from the defense and from the fans. Yeah, he's a guy you got to keep your eye on. You're going to see him line up all over the field in this game. He can play in the slot. He can play out wide. He can run the entire gamut in the route tree as well. Really nothing this guy can't do. To the ground. He's got it again. Just working and poking and prodding and finding his way up to the 36. You can barely hear yourself thinking here as they're trying to get this defense off to a good start. And it'll be incomplete. This is some physical pass defense. Here comes this whole crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Didn't get much. Picked up a yard, and that will leave them with fourth and two. The Sooners will put this one away. He'll bring it back. It's Watkins. Pretty solid coverage there, and they'll stop him at the 26. So the Ole Miss Rebels offense will take the field for the first time. When a guy gets off the ball as quickly as he does, you know he's going to be breathing down your neck, and you've got to get rid of it, Jesse. This quarterback's good, but he better have a clock going off in his head. He knows he's not going to have a lot of time to get rid of the football. That's a big matchup in this game. Well, and that's what I love about this guy, because he affects the quarterback whether he gets to him or not. He knows he's there. He's that kind of good coming off the edge. Let's see how this QB performs under pressure. Getting some heat. Takes a hit as he fires. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. Trying the left side. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Fires to the right. He's got it. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. Back to pass. It's dark. Quick strike complete. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Second down coming up. Off the RPO complete. And they swarm him under. This third down play more than manageable from the 24. Can the defense stand tall? They'll try to run for it. Just outside the red zone, if they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. The Rebels come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Wants to throw on first down. Gets it out fast. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Offense gets set for second down. Takes the handoff. It's Bentley. Great job creating space. That's what you're supposed to do. When you get man coverage, you got to find a way to get a step, make it easy for your quarterback to read that leverage. And when he drags across the field, he can see he had him. He completes it for the first down. They'll try to drive ahead on 30 short. And he picks up a first down. That is not a flag on the play. It's just lingerie on the deck after that move. To the air on first down. Got it behind the line. It's Priest Court. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Second down. He'll pull it on the read. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. They'll give it to the back. 
And how about that alertness and that swarming D to keep him from getting the first down? And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. It's good. He's going to hit a string right in the middle of the uprights there. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's 3 to nothing. They were able to get a field goal on the board, and now they'll kick it away. The returner will field it and try to set up his offense in great field position. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. They'll try the run. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. We've come to the end of the period, and Ole Miss is on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. This offense has a second down play. Quarterback on the keeper. They make the stop of this running game. Moves the chains as they get the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Well, this is one of the fastest quarterbacks in college football, and that's why the option's a good idea, because if he can get out in space and he has a chance to get downfield, he is really difficult to tackle, and he's very difficult to catch, as you saw in that last play, getting a first down. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Now on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. They'll try to bully their way for the first. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. The Sooners will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. Caught over the middle. It's Priest score. And he goes down after making the grab. Pick up a few, but he's still short of the first down mark. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. They'll run it from the gun. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. They'll run play action. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle. It's Harris. The defense got caught that time, and they finally get him on the ground at the 41. Looking to move it through the air. Quickly complete. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. Trying to get a rhythm in the passing game. Now on second down. On the run, it's Bentley. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. A third and long coming up here. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he can kick one from 75, but here he's going to need just 58 of them. He got it. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So Oklahoma has it again, and here comes the offense. Snags it quickly on the left. Made a defender miss. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Not the most productive path for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and 10. To the air, it's Arnold. Throws to the wideout. A strike downfield. And he cruises his way to the house. Touchdown, Oklahoma! 
Oklahoma. Did not take long to get into the end zone. Now let's see if this gets this offense to hit overdrive. Yeah, we may have a situation here. We might have points, more points, and more points. You keep putting drives together like that, that quickly, chewing up that much yardage. Defense is going to get something to get out. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Top 15 teams colliding today in a huge matchup, and it's now a final. Penn State delivered the knockout blow, and I think the defense might have been the story here. LeVar Arrington, Shane Conlon, Jack Ham. There's another stud there at linebacker U. Got a man. It's Priest Court. Iron sharpens iron, and you just know a top 15 matchup like this is going to go a long way in telling the story of each of these teams' seasons. And Kevin Connors keeping an eye on everything all over the country. Sounds like they had a good one there. Hit hard as he released the ball on that first down pass and it never had a chance. On second down, looking to throw. Oh, he had it and he dropped it. Almost one of those big plays he's known for. It'll be third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And they got him. He'll get him down for the sack. Timeout is called, and it's the defense wanting to make sure that everyone's on the same page for this big down. First boot of the day is on its way. He was called on three times in that loss last week. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 25. He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires left. And you'd like to think this sophomore wouldn't make a habit of trying to force passes into double coverage like that. Scanning the field, it's Arnold. Not in lockstep there with the receiver. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Leaves it with the running back. And sure, tackling there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. Here's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And the Sooners will line up to punt it away. He'll bring it back. It's Watkins. He couldn't find much running room there. Didn't get a lot of blocking, and he'll step out of bounds. First down here for the offense. He wants to throw. Pocket starts to collapse. Pulls it in. It's Bentley. The number one goal of the defense is to try to hit the QB as many times as possible. Try to rattle him. Try to get him flustered a little bit. Nice job getting there, getting the hit on him. But nice job of executing by the quarterback. Taking the hit, delivering the strike. Makes the grab. Big play for this offense as they get it to the 32. They'll immediately call timeout. They might be thinking back-to-back -back big plays after that last one. First and 10 from the 32. He's going to pass. And the defense gets home and makes a play at the 37-yard line. And what an awesome response from the defense. You give up a huge play, the play before, and what do you come back? You come back and you get pressure on the quarterback and you get him on the ground before he can... Throws toward the end zone. And it's caught! Touchdown, Rebel! I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, keep that passing game up. Keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point is good, and the lead is six. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they put the points on the board with that 37-yard touchdown pass. And he takes this from inside the five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Sooner offense returns to the field. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. 
One more snap coming before juice boxes and orange slices. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He'll be brought down, and that's the final play of the half. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, tough to beat the pageantry and tradition there today in Oxford. The Sooners will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. The Ole Miss offense ready to go back to work. They had this lead to start the third quarter because of the passing game. Didn't get a lot done on the ground. They did, but the quarterback is in a rhythm. That was obvious in the first half. And so this first drive, you want to continue that. You want to see good decision-making. You want to see him playing on time. And as always, delivering the football. I mean, I don't know how I don't give him the football. It's the reason I built the lead. He's the guy that I can trust. This offense is built around him. So I expect more of the same here in the second half. From the shotgun, they'll run it. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. Looking downfield, it's dark. And they got him for the sack. The defense just simply not fooled by the play action. Oftentimes, an offense you're hoping the run fix is going to slow down those pass rushers, but man, oh man, they had their ears pinned back. On third and long, he has to throw for it. Couldn't find a man and just had to throw it away to avoid a negative play. And the Rebels decide to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the move, it's Burks. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. You guys, we'll get another look at this Oklahoma offense. He'll keep it himself. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Here comes the offense on second down. He'll do it himself. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Roberts. And they'll spot it at the 38, and that'll be plenty for the first down. The Sooners come to the line with a new set of downs. Off the play fake on first down, the throw. Working that left side now. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. Really nice job threatening the middle in that pass. They had a lot of dudes that were able to do that in Norman, Oklahoma. Josh Heupel, Jason White, Sam Bradford, Baker Mayfield, Kyler Murray, Jalen Hurts. The names go on and on and on. Hurting you in the passing game with their vision, with their accuracy. This guy, I tell you, he fits right in in this Oklahoma offense. And you didn't have a lot of panic in the first half. I mean, you're starting to get down in the second half, and this offense just has really, really struggled, underperformed. You know you're a better team, but this offense hasn't shown it. This team hasn't shown it. It's the third quarter. They gotta get it going now. They bring him down, and he's gonna lose a yard on that one. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Oh, he's gonna take a shot at the DB. It's caught downfield. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eight. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work as well. He pushes his way down to the floor as they get closer and closer. Now second and goal, and right in the teeth of this noise. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Aggressive in these situations, but I got second and goal. I want to go out and try to get that touchdown. But I do like how he didn't force the ball to come. He didn't make a big mistake. Throw a turnover in this area. You want to make sure you can guarantee points. You still got third and goal coming up. And if you want to go for it on fourth, that's caught. It's Roberts. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive from the right hash. And this distance makes that angle not quite so severe. And 
they could have cut the deficit in half if that middle goal had been good, still down by six. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. That is by the kicker. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31, and they press set of down. How aggressive will they get on first and ten? They're getting this guy lathered up. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. The give out of the gun. Couldn't find a lane. A pickup of one to the 31. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. They'll run it out of the shotgun. There to make the stop, and we played three in this one. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. Here comes the Oklahoma offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got his man quickly. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe. Second and seven. Short completion last play. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for a crease. It's all Chuck. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. They made third down offense a key. It'll be tested on third and long from the 28. They want to throw it. They're setting up the screen. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. Ball is at the 35. It's first and 10. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. And on second down for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Big third down as the crowd gets behind this defense. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. And there was no way to go for this quarterback, and down he goes. And the offense sprung a big-time leak, and the quarterback went down. And when you're throwing the football, you're trying to stop the best athletes in the world from getting to your quarterback. They're going to get there, they're pin their ears back, get to the QB, get the sack. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up the big return. Ole Miss ready to send the offense onto the field. They'll run the RPO and pull it right. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Picked up some yardage on the ground. Now here comes second down. From the shotgun, the inside kid. And it's a first down. They'll mark it at the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Off play action on first down. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a physical attack on the gun. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Will they keep it on the ground again here on third down? They'll try to power their way ahead. The Rebels get enough for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Throwing right. Got his man. And the quarterback stuck it right in the keyhole. And they've got it down to the 30-yard line. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. 
And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Let's see what they've got on second down. Movement here from the tight end. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Pulled down after a pickup of four to the 27. Third and long coming from the 27-yard line. You can make a field goal from here. Just don't take a negative play. Back to pass. It's dark. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. He splits the uprights and puts three on the board. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics, and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down. At the end of the day, it still comes down to managing the game. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. He's looking to throw it. Coming after it. And he is snowed under. Sacked at the seven. They've got them then deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. They'll run the screen. Oh, he's so hard to get on the ground. He's got room. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Fires into traffic. It's picked off. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Nice job by this defense. That might be the exclamation for fourth quarter. I got to lead. You bring on the nickel defense. You know they're passing the football for plays just like that to make the INT and almost put this one away. Yulma's offense ready to go back to work. And now when you have a solid lead like this, Jesse, you find out, can you deliver the knockout punch? And we're expecting them to come out here and just run the football, bleed the clock, let the big uglies up front, get some push, and ball security, David. That's a premium. Yes, take care of the football. Don't make any dumb mistakes. Be physical. And listen, if they want to load the box, don't be afraid to take a shot. And he's knocked down, but not before moving the chain. A quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Relentless tough running gets it down to the four. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Hands it off. Just trucks through it. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, all the best. That one puts them in really good shape to get back on the right track and get another W. And, you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. The option low. He'll toss it. Into the end zone, he goes for the two, and now they lead by three possession. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Bringing it out. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. Here come the Sooners, ready to go on offense. Here down three possessions late. Now, and I love this part as a pass rusher because I'm just pinning my ears back, getting to the quarterback. I know it's a pass every single time. Palmer, I'm trying to pad my stats. I'm sure you're just trying to stay up. Well, we're definitely just trying to stay alive at this point, but you're also trying to build confidence, too, for your next opponent. If you can find some completions late in the game, even though it looks like... And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. Trying to get everybody set, but the clock's still running. To the air, it's Arnold. Pressure coming. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down and brings up third down. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. He's going up top here late in the game. And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chain. They were trying to move the scoreboard. Instead, it's fourth down. 
He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And it's incomplete, and the defense stands tall and gets off the field. Their work here is virtually done. No need to take any more chances. They'll line up in victory formation. A little sports history, David. Upset is the only horse ever to defeat Man of War. And that's why we call games like this an upset. I really had no clue if that was a, a real thing. But I do know this is an upset. This team was unranked, beat a ranked team. But you went out and got your respect. You gained it now. Let's build on this throughout the season. One win, great win. Now let's go ahead and build some momentum in the future. Reese, some might say you're not a one-trick pony with that <laughs> reference. And obviously, this was the team, the unranked team, that had the horses to get this thing done. Too much firepower, just too much explosiveness on 